I mean, if you're on an island, <laughs> stranded, you don't have any food, you don't have any water, and this is all you got, then maybe. Guys, I'm so excited. Today, we are gonna be eating the entire menu at Shake Shack. Are you excited? Yeah! Are you excited, buddy? But before we get into it, I need to know, are you team Shake Shack, in and out or five guys? Let me know why in the comments down below. I'm gonna eat this Bilt Bar on the way, and we're gonna go pick up a lot of food. this food. We have all the chicken, all of the burgers, pretty much everything. The one thing I learned from the last time we did something like this where we tried the entire Mr. Beast menu is I need to let you eat first because you get really <laughs> hangry and then you just ruin the rest of the video. So I got you something very special. This is what I got for you. Okay. <laughs> That's for you. Shake Shack has these? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. He's gonna love that. Look, Shake Shack has their own dog bone. So when I say we bought the entire menu, we really did look at him. Oh. Can you sit, buddy? Good boy, yes. Now, first off, tell the people your opinions on Shake Shack. Delicious. It is very, very good. <laughs> I was not a believer because I'm still team in and out She doesn't like in and out which is crazy to me. It was underwhelming. I'll tell you the one thing that Shake Shack has definitely beaten in and out on are the fries. So these are the honey, some, honey something fries, and they are incredible. I love these crinkle fries, especially if you get them fresh at the restaurant. It's almost like the Bojangles seasoning. Mm-hmm, you're right. Cajun. Yep, what do you rank those fries? If they were warm, they'd probably be a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the problem when you do these types of videos is you're eating everything cold, but you know, that's the price we pay for you all, so please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, it'd be great to have you here. Megan's favorite thing at Shake Shack, the most boring thing, what is it? <laughs> Just a plain cheeseburger. This is literally what she wanted, a cheese. You don't need anything. It's a quality meat, good cheese, and a good bread. I mean, you're not, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. So give that a try for the people. And if you haven't already, go ahead and listen to the podcast from the owner of Shake Shack of how all this got started. It's a really, really great podcast. It's on how we built this on NPR. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So essentially that's the Shake Shack burger without any of like the stuff on it, AKA the Shake Shack sauce, which I don't know what that is. So that is what I got over here. But this is one of the best cheeseburgers on the planet and I am not, I'm not exaggerating. What they do so well is it has the char on the outside, but still the juicy inside. Mm -hmm. Very flavor, flavorful. You can definitely tell they're not using a low quality meat. This is really hard to beat, mm -hmm. really hard to beat. If you had to give it a rating. Eight out of 10. If you had to go to any burger place, would it be Shake Shack? Mm. Over Five Guys? No, I was gonna say Five Guys. Five, no, Five Guys is the worst actually, out of all of them. Five Guys is definitely overrated. I have an entire video talking about how Five Guys is overrated. <laughs> I just feel like it's very, very overrated. It's not any better than any other burger that you'd get anywhere else. It's definitely not in and out <laughs> Did you ever watch that video? Probably not. <laughs> we forgot to tell you guys, the milkshake didn't make it home. It's mm -hmm. pretty hot outside and you know, the temptation is pretty high, but their milkshakes, I would say, are at the top of my all time rankings when it comes to milkshakes, even above, there used to be this place, I don't know if it's still around called Steak and Shake, their milkshakes were incredible, but this thing, it's just like so silky smooth. It's like a malt, chocolate malt. Yeah, I mean, it's it's damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. So they really trolled me because they didn't label any of these foods. So I'm gonna have to go on their app, figure out what it is based off of the picture so I can tell you guys and give you some proper rankings. This is going to be the Smoke Shack Burger. So it's a cheeseburger with ranch, applewood, smoked bacon, and cherry peppers. What in the world? Mmm, has a kick to it. Almost a little too much, I would say. At least for me. I don't have a very high tolerance when it comes to spicy food. Still a really good amount of flavor, but I would prefer the regular burger so that I don't have to overcome the spice to get to the juiciness and the deliciousness of the burger. But if that's your thing, then this is high quality. They really want your opinion on the grilled cheese because you're a grilled cheese master. Mm -hmm. So if you give this a passing score, then you know that their grilled cheese is official. It honestly reminds me of that one. The beast burger? Yeah. What if it was a ghost? What if Shake Shack was their ghost kitchen? Try it. I can actually see that. But that was such a bad grilled cheese that we had. 
So is this. Is it bad? I think the problem here is that we took it home. But it still should be melted. I mean, would you dip that in a bowl of tomato soup and be content? That's my question. No. No? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I have to imagine that this is like for the kids. Yeah. This is like a kid's menu item. Yeah. Yeah, I would never go to Shake Shack, especially because how good of everything else is. I would never get their grilled cheese. Mm -mm. This is like a 3.6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not very good. And by the way, in case you're wondering, all of this food costs around $100. So by the time we pay for this and then pay Rich Homie Greg, we're taking a big L on this video. So if you don't mind, I don't make any money if you hit the like button, but it does help get this video out to more and more people. So that would really be appreciated. What? I'm not gonna try any of that. Stuff. Excuse me? You know what this video is called? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to try this. If you eat this on, you could literally charge a $5.99 subscription if you eat this on, on camera. It's lukewarm. <laughs> it's good. You guys know I have a policy of bananas and hot dogs. Don't, can't do it on camera, so. That is good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It is. That is a quality hot dog. This exceeded my expectations. That was good. Like if I was craving a hot dog, I would go to Shake Shack and get this, mm -hmm. for sure. If you guys have been watching the channel, you know that my little doggy, Alfredo, is not the most behaved, but I've been feeding him little parts of this bone between clips. <laughs> He's happy, we're happy. Oh. I mean, come on, does it get much better? <laughs> What? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? You First gotta... of all, I'm getting full. I'm done. Huh? What's full? I'm tapping out. I think we should get into some of these chicken items. <sighs> although I don't know what any of them are. One is it has to be the chicken shack, and one has to be okay, this is the that. hot honey chicken. That's hot honey. Then. This is hot honey chicken? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Pickles. Okay. It has habanero mayo sauce. Mm. Now that, that's a quality sandwich. The chicken's thick. Yeah, can you guys see? the quality of that chicken. It makes me feel a little bit better about going to fast food. Mm -hmm. I think a new report just came out about like McDonald's, how it's all it's so engineered that it barely passes the test for being food. Disgusting. I had a kick. I can feel it mm -hmm. in my chest. Whew, all right. I'm starting to feel, starting to feel the food a little bit now. This is uh, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. So let's keep it moving to the chicken shack. <laughs> that was a good crunch. Mm, not right there. That's some dope. <laughs> I really have a hard time recommending going to Shake Shack and not getting a burger. But if for whatever reason you don't like red meat, you don't do red meat, you're just in the mood for chicken, the chicken shack. This is a 9.24 out of 10 sandwich. The chicken is cooked so well. Mm. I tapped out. Nobody likes a quitter. I did. Take a bite. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Alfie doesn't know it yet, but you left a little bite for him down there. Oh. He's too dialed in to even understand <laughs> that it's there. He is loving this bone, which makes me very happy. I think we got a whole bag of them. Oh, I'll give Shake Shack my business just because they're obviously dog lovers. And most of Shake Shacks you go to will have like an outdoor seating. The one in Austin in the domain, my favorite Shake Shack of all time. Um, but yeah, they're very, very dog friendly. Um, I really liked how they treated their employees during COVID. So ultimately just a stand-up company. Again, listen to that podcast. It's so good. I kind of forgot, kind of forgot about it. All right, guys, we're getting into some, I, I believe vegetarian options. I'm about as opposite of a vegetarian as you can get, but one of these is a shroom burger. One of these is a shack stack. Why would you ever get just a mushroom on your, on a bun? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mushrooms taste like meat. I mean, if you're on an island, <laughs> stranded, you don't have any food, you don't have any water, and this is all you got, then maybe. I'm a little sketched out by that. Let me, and <laughs> the problem is, and I think this is the exact same thing, but it's just you not- got meat at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Now, can the burger save the taste? We'll see. That's the question. Not any better? I can't get behind this. It's just like when you take a bite, it tastes slimy and like the cheese comes in and tries to save it, but it just, it isn't there, you know? It's not like it's a- It's doing too much. It's not like it's a quality pimento. It's just like this. Yeah, <laughs> no, thank you. Up next, hot honey chicken bites. And they gave us some, what, honey mustard? Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty appropriate. No, no, that's the habanero mayo. 
That's good. Yeah, that's really good. For a burger place, mm -hmm. they've really nailed chicken. That honey glaze. Mm -hmm. mm, try that. No, no. No? Mm -hmm. If you guys learn one thing about being married on this channel, n just understand that you hear the word no an awful lot. Which if you haven't watched Thursday's video, I think it's gonna have to put on Thursday for sponsorship reasons. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check that out. I'm still jamming on these fries. So obviously that was a lot of food and I'm very, very full, but also very satisfied. I really do like Shake Shack. Few negative things here and there, but I would say the biggest knock against Shake Shack that I have is that other than the milkshake, there's not much in the way of dessert. I mean, what in the world? Well, as luck would just have it, a built bar miraculously ended up in my hand. So I guess we don't have any issues anymore because sometimes I'm just craving something sweet after a meal. And what's great about built bars, especially after I just stuffed myself with all those calories, is it's right around 130 calories, but almost 20 grams of protein. And this is their new flavor, the cookie dough, which is now my new fa fa favorite, excuse me. The, before this, it was the white chocolate, but this guy is so good. I look forward to eating these every single day. It really has one of the best consistencies of a protein bar that I've ever found. So just take a look at that. In days like today, I'll even have two. I had that one post-workout. I'll have this guy just to kind of curb the rest of that sweet tooth so that way I don't keep eating bad food. But they have been nice enough to sponsor today's video. Very thankful for that. You can use Travis15 to save 15%. It's going to be linked down below. Definitely check out Built Bars. Okay, so overall Shake Shack rankings. Alfie? Camera wife? Out of all burger places, 8.5 out of 10. In unusual fashion, I'm gonna give it a rookie score of a nine out of 10. It's just solid. If you guys ever wonder what the videos look like after I'm done making and eating all the food, Megan <laughs> drives her crazy. <laughs> drives her crazy. How many times per day do you wipe down the counters? Three, at least. It's crazy. I'm getting yelled at for working on Saturday night. <laughs> Well, it's Sunday now, but it's I'm- It's supposed to be our date night. <laughs> so our date night this week got kind of ruined because I was With working- With I was working last <laughs> night, and then today we use our date budget to do a menu challenge. <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> Although, it is crazy that we go to Shake Shack and buy the entire menu for I less than our dates. Mm -hmm. Mostly just because of your margaritas. <laughs> 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 so if someone's ever been to Shake Shack, what do you tell them? Um, Get the chicken bites, the yep. hot honey chicken bites, yep. or a good old fashioned burger. Do you recommend they go? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if camera wife will go there willingly, and I actually get excited when we go there. Mm -hmm. We go there, what, like once every other month or so? Yeah, like every other month. Yeah, but we really love it. So definitely check it out. I feel like they have a good mission, uh, good food, good experience, mm -hmm. and Ultimately, I think uh, you and dog bones and dog bones and Alfie definitely recommends that you take your little puppies. So thank you all so much. You want to see Megan in more videos? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like <laughs> you like level these videos up so I much don't. because it's like it's, <laughs> a, it's a good dynamic. You don't? You don't think so? Huh? Well, you, they can let us know. I mean, yeah. if, if, she, if she sucked, then let me know too. I'll fire. You know? Huh? Just kidding. All right. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire world. And you chose to spend a few minutes with us. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I look forward to talking to you all next time. Yes. <laughs>